Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome back to the Mothman Jones Movie Channel. I'm your host, as always, John Matthew, and we have some new movies to talk about in this quarantine life we're living right now. Again, everybody stay safe. Please, everybody, do what you gotta do to protect yourselves, your loved ones, your family, everyone surrounding you. We're all gonna get through this together, and uh, that's, yeah, let's get into the fun stuff. Today, we're gonna talk about a new Netflix movie. It's an action thriller starring Chris Hemsworth, directed by Sam Hargrave, who is a stunt coordinator. It's called Extraction. And it's about this really tough, intimidating, Australian sexy mercenary who has to rescue this young lad who is the son of a crime lord uh, before any trouble comes to his life. And that's essentially our story. It's just big burly dude and young little guy together trying to get through adversities and just trying to survive the day, the night, just this entire mission. And yeah, you got Chris Hemsworth in a project that was produced by one of the Russo brothers and... It's one of those action movies that you you go in looking what you want and you get what you paid for if you pay for Netflix. Or if you're just looking for a movie to watch, you get exactly what you're coming for. It's just action upon action, light, fluffy story that kind of just gets you from sequence to sequence. There are some intimate moments with the characters. There is a couple moments with actor David Harbour, who you may know as Detective Hopper from Stranger Things, who does bring some more emotion and gravitas to the entire movie. Because they do really, in a way, get into more meat and bones when it comes to characterization. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, it's just kind of explosions, explosions, gunshots. Cool sequences that probably took a long, meticulous, arduous time processing and getting together, camera blocking, getting everything set up the right way to execute. And there are, in fact, some engaging sequences of action that had me on the tip of my toes sitting here on my couch eating Hershey Nuggets, um, eating my life away. <laughs> but then, yeah, where it is light on story, you don't get a lot of character development. It's pretty much something that's predictable and something you would expect from a movie like this, where it is a character, a mysterious character with a past that we know not much about, but then we learn a little bit about, and it kind of gives you some sympathy and understanding of where he's coming from or where he or she is coming from. And then that's basically where you have to get engrossed in. It just kind of helps or attempts to help place you into the situation so you're further engaged as a viewer. But for me, I kind of clacked in and out during these dialogue sequences. There are a few handful of moments where we see the city and we see how the house is clean, if you know what I'm talking about. Just seeing how people navigate and interact and how people such as our main antagonist get shit done. And one house chore includes expendable children. Kids get beaten up in this movie. And if you're sensitive to watching kids getting the the living hell beaten out of them or even killed in dangerous graphic ways, stay away from this movie. Uh, but I, I appreciated that there were basically no holes barred with showing how life is like in this city environment within the fictitious aspect of extraction as a movie. So we really feel more of the stakes seeing what goes on with the inhabitants of this world. But again, not much more to say about this one. It's it's an enjoyable movie with some engrossing sequences of action. Like Everybody's talking about the 11-minute one-shot take. That's not really one-shot, but again, as everyone else has been saying, it's the way you put it together, and it is it gets more engaging as it goes on and just gets more tiring, and just the stakes are raised continuously, and they keep finding interesting ways to keep you on the edge of your seat because if you've seen a lot of movies, you know what to expect pretty much from movies like this. And they, they find ways to really keep you guessing because the average viewer is going to pr pretty much predict the entire way through what's going to happen, even if it is impressive, the choreography. But this movie does do a good job, especially with that sequence of being unpredictable. Chris Hemsworth is really good. He's got charisma for days. He's a really well-liked actor for a reason. And he's the reason why you watch this movie besides for the action uh, I get David Harbour is really good in this. The young kid who is running beside Chris Hemsworth has some really emotional moments in this movie that actually work and make it more memorable. I I did mention before that I clocked out of the plot a few times, but when we do get intimate moments with this kid, I was sitting back, taken aback by what was going on. So that's the way this cookie crumbles. It's an average run of the mill action thriller that's elevated by some pretty fun performances that do have moments of interesting emotional resonance and then also some action that is pretty badass so if that's what you're looking for right now if you're looking for a movie that just kind of doesn't actually think too much and just kind of enjoy what you're watching 
uh, go on Netflix and watch this one. Also, I know it probably gets more eyes on the movie because they're comparing it to John Wick. So you're automatically like, so wait, who would win? Tyler Rake, who is Chris Hemsworth's character, who also, by the way, does use a rake in the movie and it's pretty on the nose, or John Wick. And first of all, John Wick as a movie has a lot more um, visual flair and a lot more flash than this does visually. And I think the way they create the world in John Wick is a lot more extensive than this movie. And John Wick as a character has more of a cartoony, fictitious, out there kind of look and feel, as opposed to this where it is more somewhat grounded in reality. So you can kind of put yourself in this world. John Wick is like some cartoon on ABC on Saturday mornings, whereas this is more of like a Black Hawk Down situation. So I don't get the comparison there, besides the fact that it is in the action family. And the only reason, again, why I think they're putting these two characters against each other on Twitter and on social media is because it'll get more people to watch the movie because, ooh, who would win? This or this? So, yeah, obviously it's John Wick. But if you had to compare it, that's how I'm chiming in with my two cents. But of course, now you know what happens. I want to know from all you guys, what you think of Extraction if you've watched it on Netflix? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you agree with my feelings or disagree? Do you like it better or worse than some of the other action movies that have been out on Netflix or a comparison to John Wick for some reason? Um, uh, what do you think of Chris Hemsworth? And would you like to see a sequel? Because apparently there's a sequel in the works now. Um, sure, I guess. Why not? Of course, as always, if you enjoyed watching me talk about movies for the past few minutes, you could like this video. You could ring that bell so you'll never miss a notification from me ever again. Comment down below about what you thought of the movie. And if you haven't already, subscribe. So, yeah, you could be part of the fun family of the Staten Island kid who likes to talk about movies all the time. Also, what do you think about this haircut? Honestly, if you could, if, if you care, because I'm just trying to get by because my hair gets really annoying really fast. So I just kind of go... And I'm done. Again, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this. Um, and I really appreciate you and love all y'all and stay safe. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.